Timberlane Elementary School opened in September 1955. The school is named after a street in the adjacent Walnut Hill residential neighborhood. Fairfax County Elementary Schools, built in the 1950s, were typically named after the neighborhood they were built to serve. However, in the case of Timber Lane, a break from tradition was necessary because the name Walnut Hill was already in use. Walnut Hill Elementary School, which also opened in 1955, was located southwest of Falls Church on Camp Alger Avenue. It was named after a large, well-known home on Annandale Road, once owned by the Arnold family. The Walnut Hill neighborhood next to Timberlane Elementary School was named for a different home, also called Walnut Hill, which was once owned by the Sewell family. In the early 1800s, Nicholas Lewis Sewell, a resident of St. Mary's County, Maryland, moved to Fairfax County and settled west of the village of Falls Church. He married Sarah West, a granddaughter of prominent Fairfax County resident Colonel Charles Broadwater. The Sewell family were of the Roman Catholic faith, and the first Catholic Mass in Falls Church was held in their home. In 1879, St. James Church, the first Catholic church in the town of Falls Church, was built on land donated by Jane Sibylla Sewell, a daughter of Nicholas and Sarah Sewell. This original church was located on land that is now part of St. James Cemetery at the corner of Southwest Street and Fowler Street. St. James Cemetery is the final resting place of Nicholas, Sarah, and Jane Sewell. Local lore has it that it was Jane Sibylla Sewell who named her family's home Walnut Hill. The house still stands today on Faber Court. In the late 1940s, the Sewell's Walnut Hill was purchased by Arlington Builders Incorporated, who developed the surrounding property into a residential neighborhood. The neighborhood streets were given arboreal related names, such as Pinewood Street, Woodley Place, and Timber Lane. However, the land where Timber Lane Elementary School stands was never owned by the Sewell family. The school property is actually comprised of two separate lots with distinct chains of ownership. The original school lot was eight acres in size. In the 19th century, this lot was part of a larger property called Linwood Farm. In 1891, George and Mary Whiting sold Linwood Farm to Neil Ferguson Graham, for whom Graham Road is named. The farm remained in the Graham family until 1942, when it was sold to National Memorial Park, the company that owns the large cemetery across West Street from Timberlane Elementary School. National Memorial Park never developed the Graham property, and in March 1954, sold a portion of it to the Fairfax County School Board. The second lot that comprises the Timberlane School property, slightly larger than two acres in size, was purchased by the school board in 1969 to provide additional space for a playground and for the expansion of Timberlane's parking lot. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, this two-acre tract had been part of a larger property owned by the Scott family. In November 1849, Artemisia Scott, widow of Robert Scott, purchased 15 and a half acres of land at auction. Artemisia Scott's daughters, Artemisia Darn Scott and America Virginia Scott, made national headlines in August 1861 when they were arrested and charged with aiding in the capture of a Union Army captain. The sisters, ages 18 and 21 at the time, were ardent secessionists and were accused of using their feminine wiles to lure Captain Elisha Kellogg to their home where he was captured by Confederate soldiers. Several days earlier, two other Union soldiers had also been captured near the Scott residence. During questioning, Artemisia and America Scott maintained their innocence and were released. In this aerial photograph taken in 1968, the Scott family's home is visible on the northeast corner of the two-acre lot that would become part of the Timberlane Elementary School property. The home was demolished around the time the school board took ownership of the lot.